So hello everyone. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to deploy application to the cloud using App Engine. So the best thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project. And because if you don't want to take an important note, which is for every project, there'll be only one app. For every project, there'll be only one app, which is the constraint that we have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and create a new project. Clicking here, I think we can have short on the page, we have a lot, so don't worry. So we're gonna go app or just gonna say simple app engine. Just gonna keep it like this. Okay, create. Let's wait for the project to be created. Once it is created, what I'm sure you would have already known. The first win before using something, we need to Enable the App Engine API. So here we go. We'll go for the App Engine. App Engine API. I think API is no. Or we'll go and see. Let me search. Okay. App Engine API, you know App Engine API, go to App Engine API, and then enable the API, then we can create the projects, anything we want, so we'll just enable now. App engine is enabled. I will go to App engine. So here we are. Now, what we're going to do is just going to create an application. We're going to select a region for one application, I mean one project. So one project, you're only allowed one application. So this region is permanent. So we're just gonna go with the default one. So we'll go to next. We're gonna keep it simple and default. So we don't wanna do anything that much special changes because I'm just gonna show you in this video how to do like to have a basic level. And then once one, when you are able to create your app on your own self or you just want to build some app you know what are the constraints that you want to play around so that you can play in that particular region or anywhere so for now we're just going to keep it to the basics and a file i will be using which will be available in my git if you want you can download that as well for now the resource of python this is okay standard Okay, no SDK. I don't think we do want to download. Later, the app has been successfully created. Okay, so now what we can do is we're gonna go to the Google function. Then we want to open it in there. We want it in a new window. So that's a little bit more. Okay. Okay, now it's perfect. So now we have the Cloud Shell editor. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click open folder. I'm just gonna select the home. Time. So once this is done, so what we can do is the file will be available in the git. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna take the app engine. I'm gonna click 
¿sí? Camera and no head. So once it's done, we'll check if it is there. So unless we have those two, so this is perfectly working. So just want to say what there is, which is a default service, which is nothing but that we all these services have the three files which are common, which is nothing but the app.yaml is the configuration file for a specific application. For each specific application, it's a YAML file which we'll be using to deploy. So the app engine will understand this is the configuration for the application. So the main file is the Python file. I'm sure you will know that. PY is Python file for the application. And then, then the requirements is the dependencies needed for the specific applications. So you don't have to get too into it because once you dive into doing projects on your own, you might understand. So now let's just see how to deploy this so that you understand what are the steps needed that needs to be done in order to apply your own application. So, okay, now we'll just go into CD, tab, default service. And then what we need to do is if you don't have this, for example, just check before I do inbound rock. Okay, it's in the project. If you don't have this hello, which which is indicating you are the project that you are in, I highly recommend you doing the G Cloud to set the project. So it, that way it works well. Otherwise, you will have an error. So without further ado, let's just deploy. It's just nothing but the Google code. Which is if you don't know, if you're not following up with the playlist, I will give you the code, which is Google Cloud config set project. And then go here, copy this ID, paste it here and then run. If you, if you it's, it's not the case for you, you have this yellow, this yellow text indicating the project that you are in. We will just dive right into deploying it and see whether it works. Let's go on G Cloud app deploy. Of course, the authorization is done. And yes, of course, why? Being carried inside this document, I can say it's working on. And it's not working just yet. If not, we will you know, find a way to fix it. As always, that's what we do. We are problem solvers. Again, if it takes a little bit more time than expected, I will, you know, cut the video and then, you know, come back. But let's see how it does. Okay, it's perfect. The app is deployed. So let's see by going to the copy, paste it. I'll just uh, remove this. Obviously, this is not needed. Let's just check if everything is perfect. Ah, perfect. So the app is perfectly deployed. If you're wondering what this is, I'll just show you this is the app which is being run, which is just, uh, don't worry about the code that too much. Just returning, like print. It's just returning the value, which is my default service, which is this one. So it's perfectly working. If in the case you're having a problem, it says some problem and it's not working for you what is the thing is it might have you might only have one problem which is a service account problem which in case there is an error which is the service account you know doesn't have any permissions what you have to do is you have to go here then you have to go about with IAM IAM The IIM, you select which service account that it is saying that it's not working. So you just give the, you just click this button and then give the roles that it is specified in there. I think that's, that's all. So this is just how you deploy an application. So I will just follow on on the place with explaining more about what can, things that can be done in the app engine. So see you there.